And it's only Wednesday. You know how some people during this quarantine have been like, oh, Friday, like it still feels the same when it's the weekend. I, I Friday comes along and I'm like, Friday, Friday, because the weekend is when I chill, because a lot goes on during the week. I did find some clothes on the uh, couch from last night that were just laying around, so. I would tell you it was no sexy <laughs> time last night. <laughs> we just fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> get this day started right. It doesn't matter if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. We're gonna start our day off on the right foot. So every morning I wake up and what gets me out of bed is two things. One, the smell of coffee, and two, knowing I'm going to ride with my Heaven's Devils bike gang. It pushes me every time, and today, you know what? I beat my old personal record. I've got a new one. I burned 500 calories. I did a 60 minute class, and I didn't throw up. Small wins. After my bike, I'm gonna make myself a little protein smoothie. And some people like theirs full of greens and fruits. I'm like more of a peanut butter kind of gal. I really like vegan protein, so I use, it's called peanut butter cereal milk, and it's the best thing ever. I mix it with half a banana, some oat milk, a little bit of oats, and some almond butter. Let the dogs lick the almond butter. And then boom, you don't have to put it in the dishwasher. Just kidding. I'm always open to new smoothie recipes, so leave yours in the comments. Maybe I'll try it. So I always enjoy walking the dogs. We just go around the neighborhood. Sometimes I let them play in the backyard, but any quality time with the pups is a uh, time well spent, if you ask me. I'm also podcasting today from my ladies lounge office. Hey everybody, welcome to Off the Vine. I'm your host, Caitlin Bristow. Today on the podcast, we get to chat with somebody you will remember from Listen to Your Heart. I have an episode of Nine to Wine to film today, so I get to hang out with my awesome producer. Then it's just like enter a photo of you like this. I'm gonna have my daily catch up with Cleo where we go over all of the things. A actually, you know what, in fact, I'm gonna just bring you along so that you can hear all the craziness. Hi, Beans. Oh, uh, hi, Clee P. So I know I said that I thought this week was gonna be a little bit more chill, um, but we actually have so much to go over today. Are you ready? Um, I feel like you say that every week, so yes, I'm ready. <laughs> ready or not, here Cleo comes. So we're going to go over do the launch, you want to go over uh, the pictures, see which ones you want to pick, then we have a sheet grad party, and <laughs> ET Canada, let's talk about your music, what's going to happen there, and then, you know, Spade and Sparrow's call tomorrow, I think we have about a million items to go over then, and the launch, and then we have the Vine, and I think you wanted to talk about the tour as well, and then obviously you're recording for Nine to Wine. Cool, cool, no problem. It's just a couple things, check off the old list. Yeah, not a big deal. Great, so now moving on to She Grad Party. I, well, I love them because we did that event with them before, remember? And it's like yeah. so about women empowerment and all these things. So I'm gonna go on this call and turn it up for those girls and make sure we have the best time and we'll try and make it the best grad ever. They're actually doing a parade in my neighborhood for graduation this weekend. Oh, which I is, love that. I know, it's so cute. So Are you gonna join the parade? <laughs> You know what? I actually volunteered to drive my car around with streamers. <laughs> oh, you're the best. I love that. And I saw the email about gifting them some dues. So let's definitely do that because we can put like a few packages together, like different products for, for their giveaway. Okay. Yeah, that sounds perfect. So we'll do that. I scheduled a different meeting for us next week to talk about music. It's so crazy because I'm like, well, I don't really have time to add one more thing on my list, but let's just drop a song and see what happens. It's crazy because like, I mean, how often do I worry about negative comments? I usually just assume they'll happen. I don't usually worry about them. But with this, it was like just so personal to me. And I'm like, oh gosh, like it, that's why I was so nervous. But even if there's some trolls out there, it's been like, thanks for the download. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You're like, you listen to that and make sure you don't like it. Twice. Yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> I hope you don't like my next one too. <laughs> Next on the agenda, Spade and Sparrows. I'm so getting cool. so excited for this because, the, uh, you know, a couple months without Spade and Sparrows, I was not a fan of that, those months. I feel like I've had a headache because I'm going through withdrawals and it's just not going away. <laughs> and I try other wines and it's just not the same. I know. And what? I still see TikTok ideas like... Really? Yes. More TikToks. The world wants more Caitlin Bristow TikToks. 
Moving on to off the vine. So really exciting. You're going to be, uh, well, I know you're not as excited. I'm excited that your ABC uh, bachelor is going to be recapped. So to relive everything, I'm a little nervous. So I'm like, I'm just going to have fun, talk to some of the guys from my season, um, put it in into the podcast and enjoy it while it lasts. Um, last thing, I know that Kayla has been with you for a week now. How is it going? I need everything to just funnel through one human being who's also going to keep me sane and like help me out around the house. But I thought I'd be able to take everything on because I'm like, it's quarantine, I'm gonna be home, I can just do this all on my own, but I can't. I've been so impressed. Like you haven't, I'm like, how are you not letting balls drop? Well, I'm, I'm letting Jason's balls drop because there's no sex driving me after these days. <laughs> Welcome, Jason. There's time for me to be sexually active now. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's working out uh, very well. Yeah. Good. Over here. Good. <laughs> okay, everybody. So this is Kayla, my assistant, and it's her one week anniversary today. <laughs> so, uh, so far, so good, but I'm going to give her a little quiz and make sure uh, we're compatible on the same page here, okay? These are some real hard hitting questions, all right? Are you a cat or a dog person? Dog. That's the right answer. Okay. Did you watch my season of The Bachelorette? No. That's good. This is this is good. I've never seen an episode. From working with me this last week, what is one thing you've noticed that annoys Jason? Hmm. When you can't put something together and you ask him to come down, but he's in the middle of a meeting. So true. <laughs> That's so true. I'm always like, Jay! Can you cut hands out of this? <laughs> That's, he always does though. He always does. That's a good point. What's one thing that Jason does that you can tell annoys me? I don't know. I actually even feel like people at home might know what this one is because I bring it up all the time. So leave a comment and we'll see if they get it right. And then I'll tell you <laughs> after. It's an obvious one. Okay, what's the most random thing I've asked you to do? <laughs> oh, I'm curious. Probably drop off your pee sticks. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so I did a hormone test. I had to pee on a bunch of strips and send it in. And I was like, hey, could you could you drop off my pee sticks, please? Thanks. I'm like, sure. <laughs> I, to be fair, I did put them in an, an envelope. You didn't have to touch my pee. No, oh, okay, that's funny. Uh, if you were a drink, what drink would you be and why? Ooh, uh, I would be a glass of Pinot. Oh, and why? Is it your favorite? Because I love Pinot. You know. Yeah, okay. I'm a big fan. I think I might be with you on that one, or I would be like a spicy margarita. Because I'm spicy. I do like margaritas. Yeah, I love tequila, and I happen to be spicy myself. That's a fun fact. When Jason started dating me, his mom was like, are you sure you can keep up? But she's pretty spicy. <laughs> I want to know what other people would be and why if they were a drink. So let us know in the comments. Most embarrassing thing you've stumbled in the house that probably isn't meant to be seen. I said this the other day, Kayla left and I said to Jason, I think she saw my sunny side up panties. <laughs> That's disgusting. I mean, my first day here, I did do your laundry. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I folded Jason's underwear the first day here. <laughs> Welcome to the fam. Because um, I was packing for um, a little trip that they went on. Probably just like a really gross toy, like that thing that that Did, the well, like a sex not toy. On. Just kidding. No, <laughs> no, like one of Pino's toys. Okay, like the okay. gross ones he like gnaws on. That's true. They are pretty slobbery and gross. <laughs> what room in the house do you feel needs to be the most organized room in the house? Hmm. I mean, as you can see, this part of this room is very put together, but there's, yes. there is some stuff a little messy in this room. I like to pretend that I'm organized because like, look, I have a, a filing cabinet. So I'm like, oh, I'm so profesh. I've got a filing cabinet. <laughs> um, and there's our professional lighting. Um, but yeah, there's just stuff. That's not that bad. But if you look behind that mirror right there, see how there's stuff peeking out? It's uh, where I hide all of my crap. I'm a pretty clean person, but I like trinkets and, and like it's a little cl more cluttery than I think some people would like, but. Okay, bonus question. What is one thing that in the week that I've known you, I, I haven't got to figure out yet? Like the, something that I wouldn't know just by like being around you or seeing you in this week. Mm -hmm. I actually have a dream of opening my own matchmaking company. Oh yeah, that's a good so. idea. So yeah, that's something do you, that I'd like to do. Do you feel like you're a good matchmaker? Is that, or is this something that you just like the idea of? Have you matched 
someone before. So I am also a huge hopeless romantic. Okay. So I love weddings. I love Valentine's Day. Okay, that's a good one. I, uh, for some reason, could see it. Yeah. Okay. I want to watch your Blair thing that you did. Oh yeah, the Blairette. I I'll too am that. a matchmaker myself. <laughs> I uh, introduced two people and now they're getting married and I am going to be officiating their wedding. That's so crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Okay, so I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to be a matchmaker. Thank you. <laughs> and now it's unwind time with Jason. We're having a glass of wine and playing our favorite game, Rummy Cube. If you don't know what Rummy Cube is, you should probably Google it and buy yourself one because it passes the time and I'm pretty sure it's something that my grandma used to always play. But I've been into that these days. I also like to puzzle. Hopefully you have a little more downtime than me and it's okay if you have downtime. It's okay if you're not working your little push off every day. That's fine, just let me know what you're up to and what your days look like and maybe I'll live vicariously through you. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue on this crazy little life with me and uh, I mean, if I haven't scared you away yet, please subscribe.